Hello you all and hello there everyone out there. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a little makeup toot for you. Um, it's pretty easy and simple. Uh, the main star of this show is the Tati Beauty uh, Volume 1 palette. And I use this beautiful shade of sequin that is called Soothe on the lid. I really like this shade because since it's sequin, it looks kind of matte, but when the light hits it, you get a really beautiful uh, gold reflect in it. So I think that it's really interesting and kind of different. So if you're interested in seeing how I accomplish this look, then please keep watching. Alright you guys, so starting off with a bare and clean face, I'm using Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Erasing Primer just in the areas where I have larger pores. Then next, for foundation, I'm using Maybelline Dream Cover Foundation and I'm using an IT Cosmetics stippling brush to apply this all over my face. And a stippling brush just allows most coverage possible, so that's why I like to use more flat or stippling brushes for my foundation. So after I've applied that foundation everywhere, I'm just taking the Real Techniques Face Complexion Sponge and just making sure that everything is nice and blended on the skin. And next we're going to do a little bit of cream contour. I'm taking Maybelline Fit Me Concealer that is in a few shades darker than my skin tone. And I'm just applying this a little bit higher than my contour because we're going to blend that down with a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And I just blend this around my contour bronzer area and go up on my temples, forehead, a little bit on my jawline, a little bit on the side of my nose. Basically anywhere where we would like a little bit more color to the skin and I'm really loving cream contour because it just adds a little something extra to the look without looking too harsh. So for concealer, we're using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in a shade that is close to my skin tone, maybe a shade lighter. I'm just applying that under my eyes, on any breakouts, and in the center of my forehead. Then I take the Real Techniques fake, uh, Face Complexion Sponge just to blend out our concealer. Next, we're going to bake a little bit. I'm using RCMA No Color Powder and a KVD Vegan Beauty uh, Complexion Brush just to go ahead and help us bake under our eyes. We're going to leave that bake on a few minutes. It'll help catch any fallout from our eyeshadow and just make sure that our makeup lasts all day. For our eyeshadow, I'm taking the Tati Beauty Volume 1 eyeshadow palette and I'm taking the shade Aura, the matte shade of Aura, just placing that all over our lid as our base. Next, on a fluffy blending brush, I'm taking the matte shade of Soothe just in our crease to start defining that and create some dimension for the rest of our eyeshadows. Then I'm taking the Huda Beauty Nude Palette and I'm taking the shade um, here in the corner called Teddy. And that's just going to go right in our crease as well and a little bit on the outer corners to start defining the crease a little bit further. Then from that same palette I'm taking the shade named Play and I'm running that on the upper crease sort of in our brow bone just to help blow out any of those crease colors make sure they're blended nicely. Next with the Tati Beauty palette I'm taking this shade Sequin Soothe on my finger and applying that to my lid. Using the finger just allows most of that glitter to pop through on this eyeshadow so it looks really gorgeous. Next, with an angled liner brush, I'm taking Matte Memory from that palette and I'm just popping that on my tight line and on my lash line just to uh, define and add in some darkness to our lashes and act sort of as our eyeliner. Then
Then with a smaller blending brush, I'm taking Matte Ritual and I'm just focusing that on the outer corner just to add a little bit more definition to the outer corners of our eyes. Then I'm taking the Balm Bahama Mama Bronzer just to set any of our cream bronzer that we placed down there and add a little bit more color and bronziness to our face. With a Real Techniques large powder brush, I'm just dusting off any of that bake and making sure it blends in nicely with our bronzer, making sure everything meshes well. Then I'm taking a yellow toned powder under my eyes just to make sure everything looks really nice and bright there. We are not going to be lining our inner waterline on the lower lash line, just adding a little bit of eyeshadow there instead. For that, I'm taking the matte soothe shade on a fluffy blending brush, just making sure that it is nice and blown out on our bottom lash line. For blush, I'm taking this Inglot blush duo that is really nice. I've had it for years. Inglot blushes are really nice and creamy. This one is a really pretty rosy pink color, so it goes with almost every makeup look. And for highlight, I'm taking the Tarte Skin Twinkle Palette and just applying that on the high points of my face, on the tops of my cheekbones, top of my brow bone, nose, and the higher points of my forehead just to give us that glowy uh, look that we love over here. Then we are going to just fill in my eyebrows. I'm using a spoolie just to brush them out as well as brush out some of my eyelash extensions because they can get clumpy sometimes. But for my brows, I like to use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and I use shade number 3 which matches perfectly with the roots of my hair. Uh, so this shade and this pencil works really good for my look. Then we're going to highlight the inner corners of our eyes. I'm using the shimmer shade from the palette, which is a Shimmer Aura. And I'm using a small Sigma pencil brush just to apply that on the inner corners of my eyes. For mascara, I'm using Clinique High Impact Waterproof Mascara on my bottom lashes. I don't need to apply this on my top lashes because I have eyelash extensions, so it's not necessary. But just for my bottom lashes, a little bit of mascara. For lipstick, I'm using Smashbox Stylus Matte Lipstick. It's a really pretty pink shade that goes with almost every look. All of the products that I've used will be linked in the description box. As a disclaimer, some of the links may be affiliate from which I earn a small commission from your purchase. You don't have to use those links, but they are available in case you'd like to use them and it does help support me and my small channel. But with that, we are done. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and share with any family members. That does help me out. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!